Smith Nation. Say what's up, fam? What y'all think her name is? Comment down below before we reveal it. Yeah, what y'all think? See, she was born at 7.51 p.m. And she was 6 pounds, 12 ounces, and 20 inches long. Okay. So, uh, I guess I'm going to go first. So, we're going to talk about talk a little bit about our experience and uh, just give you all the, the gist of how it went. Because by now, y'all should have seen... The, video, the last video of the labor and delivery. So, I'm gonna go first and while she's feeding. For me, man, it was, it was the most incredible experience I've ever seen. Like, it was, it was crazy, it was great, it was, uh, I'm trying to think of a, a, another word, like, it was beautiful. It was a sight to see, you know. I, now I got to see firsthand what a woman goes through, or what women used to go through, even back in the day when they didn't have medicine and and. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. So first of all, let me just let's give a round of applause for my wife because she went natural. Yes, yeah, she went natural. No epidural, no medicine. Uh, oh, the medicine called IV sedation. Yeah. Uh, IV sedation. IV sedation. None of that. None ya. She did it naturally herself. So you know what that means. She felt every single thing from her head to her toe. She felt it. <laughs> she felt it. And so, uh, man, it was just. It was great to see. So she told me beforehand that she wanted to go natural. 
You know, I, I just kind of, hmm, okay. You say that every time, but this time, you know, I felt like she was a little bit more serious. So um, when she told me she was going natural, I I held her up, I held her to it. So um, went in and uh, she got the pitocin, and she, well, she was already having contractions before then, but when she got the pitocin, it started, you know, making its way. Uh, even stronger, the contraction started getting stronger, and like when I seen that, the pain she was in, I felt, you know, as a husband or a father, you you hate to feel helpless in that situation, and that's how I felt because I couldn't help her or save her in that moment. I couldn't do anything, and uh, besides, hey, tell the nurse, you know, get her epidural or give her medicine, but. Um, I wanted to hold her to what she said she wanted to do. She, she It was times where she struggled and um, she wanted to go to the medicine, but I had to keep giving her motivation, like giving her motivation, hey, you can do this. You're almost done. You're almost there. It's not going to take long. Um, you got this. Um, and I kept telling her, you know, mind over matter. Uh, you're stronger than what you think. Like, and it, it, it was just so beautiful to see her endure, or not endure, but uh, overcome the pain. You know, she she fought through it, no matter what she wanted to do. You know, she stayed on the path that she decided she wanted to do. Because um, at one point, I was so close to like So close. She, she had the medicine. They were about to put the medicine in the, the IV bag. Is that the, the IV bag? They brought it in the room. Oh, they brought it. They brought it in the room. And he's like, you know, you ready? And you want it or whatever? And I was like, yeah, I'm gonna Because I couldn't. I, I think I was around five. Was that five? That was only at like five centimeters. No. Yeah, because she didn't check. It was at like five. I probably had already dialed some more, but I just didn't know. But I was in so much pain. I was like, I got. And they told me I was only five centimeters. I said, I got so far to go. Uh uh. Give me something. Mm -hmm. And so when she brought it in, I said, you know what? Nah. Go hard or go home. You know, like if you gonna do it, do it. Yeah. Don't half do it. Yeah. So, uh, man, just just like I said, for me, it was, it was a great experience. I actually got to see uh, firsthand. You know, usually I'm behind the camera recording from an upper angle, but I actually was right there holding her leg, and I got to see natural come out I got to see everything I got to see experience or uh, what's it about I don't know I got to see everything <laughs> point blank period uh you know and and I got to be there for her like I've uh, always wanted to be you know but it was just beautiful and after seeing that you know I realized she's even more of a superwoman than I thought so that was pretty much it that was my experience. I, I I love you. I thank you for doing that. I thank you for uh, enduring that pain for our daughter. And I thank you for giving me a healthy baby girl. You're welcome. I love you too. So, Indeed without you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Aww. So yeah, okay. So start off the name. We, we've had this name in mind for a while. I didn't actually say that I was going to name her that because I wanted to go natural. I wanted to name her that because I just wanted this whole, you know, vibe and spirit about her to be free and um, and just authentic. Like, you know, just to live in her truth and be natural with, with it. So that's what, that's what, that's why I wanted to give her that name. But then when I started thinking, I'm like, if I can name her natural, I gotta go natural. Mm. I got it. And so that's how we were debating on the names. So I was like, what if I don't go natural? Like, now I don't wanna name her that if I don't go natural. So I went natural and then we got baby natural. <laughs> but yeah, so uh that's the name thing. Um for me, like the the whole process was uh something that made me appreciate womanhood on another level. And 
I just, I can't believe I literally did that. Like, that was, yeah, that, 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 that's some tough stuff. Like, it's kudos to all the moms out there that's done it and done it again and done, because the Lord have mercy. I think I got two stitches, which is not too bad, but, you know, you just feel everything. When it, after the, the epidural still be on when you, after you deliver, so you don't feel like the stitching and whew, just to feel all that. But I wanted to do it like my grandmothers did it. They had 10 kids. They, one of them had seven, one had 10. Like my ancestors, ancestors did it. Like I wanted to do that, to say that I did it. And, and, you know, not to knock anybody that has never done it who don't want to do it because I'm... I'm still that person. Like, if I want to get an epidural, then I'm going to get the epidural. Ain't no doubt about that. I wanted to experience it and to prove my, to myself that I'm stronger than my mind, my body. My mind is stronger than my body. And, you know, if you put your mind into something, you can do it. And that's, that's just, I live by that motto. You know, if I say I'm going to do something, listen, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. So, she ain't lying, yeah. that's that behind that, said that, meant that, stand on that, you. Period. Period. <laughs> I did that. Man, it was it was a it was a point in my in her experience that she was she even had tears in her eyes. Oh, like, uh, he didn't. Yeah, we. I didn't. I didn't catch that. It was in such the moment, like I needed that that um comfort, mm -hmm. so he wasn't able to record. But I I cried like three or four times, she and was, I was saying like it's not fair, like mm -hmm. that you you get to sit over there and watch me like go through this, and I have to like it, it was. She was, she was just, I can't, I can't do it. I said, yes, yeah. you can. I can't. Why you keep telling me that? Like, she was like mad. Like, why you keep telling, like, stop telling me that. You know, and uh, it's a great experience. Um, humbling experience. As a man, just watching a woman go through that and see the pain they have to endure. And uh, I'm just so appreciative to have a strong wife like I do. Um, and that's it. So we're going to do a separate video um, of the kids, of our kids meeting, Nixia, Nomi, and Knight meeting their baby sister. Oh, let me show y'all Natural's car seat. So this is a car seat right here with a name on the back of it. It's like in a glittery gold. Real beautiful. My friend, my my sister, my uh, good friend Lauren Woodson bought this. Our our friend, and our sister, she bought the car seat, and we actually didn't have one at the time, and we so blessed and uh, so grateful for her buying this for for our baby shower. Okay, so I uh, saw so the theme. For us, you know, we always got to have a theme is sunflowers. So we got Keandra's hospital bag. I see sunflower. We got the sunflower diaper bag for natural. And then, y'all, this room went perfect. Why? Because it has sunflower, a sunflower, a sunflower picture on the wall. We didn't even know. We was taking pictures and then we seen the sunflowers in the background. It was God giving. <laughs> so we knew then that the sunflower was the right thing to pick. Sponge bath. You still have been sparingly in the as well. Uh, yeah. Until then, you know, it's just this is sponge bath until the cord okay. heals. Gotcha. It falls off. Okay. Is a 1-800-222 place it near the phone. Uh, oh, a large cross church nurseries, daycares for two months. If babies cry, it makes you feel like you're losing control. Put it in a safe place and walk away. Okay. Take a break and or call someone to help you care for baby when crying gets frustrated. Okay. Shaking baby syndrome is very serious and can cause brain damage, even death. Never shake your end of it. And discuss shaken baby syndrome and SIDS with every caregiver your baby has. And John, this is the yellow appearance of the skin. So, can y'all guess what we about to do? We're about to go home. 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 Alrighty, so we are 
are heading out this is my room I always appreciate this house this, this is this is home to me it has been for a while but yeah I'm heading out yeah Jesus for for it all. Here you go. Get up. Get up. 